let's come to our actual topic and this is the right clavicle superior view and we will be discussing the general characteristic of this bone then we'll discuss gross anatomy in detail and at the last we will discuss clinical anatomy uh, and uh, uh, correlation of uh, clavicle and ossification also we will include in this discussion okay so let's start with the general characteristic uh, when you look at the posterior respect so this bone is s in shape okay so it look like s in shape then it is subcutaneous throughout so you can kill you can palpate uh, during physical examination because the superior surface completely subcutaneous there is no other structure upon it only the skin it is directly located under the skin then the only bone that lie transversely the only long bone sorry the only long bone that lie tra in transverse position all other long bone like uh, bone of the upper limb and lower limb so mostly they are long bone but they lie vertic in vertical position but the only bone that lie transversely and it make it uh, risk for fracture most commonly fracture bone is, is that when, especially when someone fall on outstretched hand so the body weight transfer to the clavicle in it fracture then one study confirm it that it will ossify from two primary membranous ossification center okay by six week okay according to them by six week and then fuses then stop ossification stop development and after that two cartilaginous mass on either side appear at the at the sternal end and, and at the lateral acromial end at the medial end and the lateral end two ossification mass appear and uh, the medial mass more contribute to the length is compared to lateral mass so according to this study they confirm that it appeared to primary cartilaginous center at the age of six weeks then it disappear after one week and two cartilaginous mass appear at both end and the medial end cartilaginous mass more uh, contribute to the growth of the uh, the uh, clavicle than the lateral mass then it has no medullary cavity according to some anatomist and it is the first bone the first bone to start ossification and the last bone to end and supraclavicular nerve penetrate through you can analyze it and penetrate through in, in some population and in some population it grew over the the, the clavicle it form a grew and then um, it uh, passing through then our next task to discuss about grass anatomy of clavicle so let me remove that because it disturbed during explanation okay so now the grass anatomy is it long bone so it must must have it must has three parts now we have a chromial end Acromial end. We have sharp and sternal end. St 
determinant here. Okay, so this is his acromial end because this part of the bone articulated with the acromial process of scapula. That's why the name acromial end. And we have sternal end. This part articulate with the uh, munibrim sterni. So the name sternal end. And between the two, this part is the shaft of the clavicle. So then shaft of the clavicle further subdivided into one third lateral uh, lateral with the acromial side and two third medial with the sternal side. When you look at the two third medial side so it is more cylindrical in shape. At the uh, and sternal facet is round in shape. Round or quadrangular. Quadrangular in shape. Then in medial two third we have four surfaces without any border. Ah, okay. We have no portal but surfaces. We have interior surface. This is interior surface. And at the opposite side, at the opposite side, we have posterior surface. Posterior surface. This is superior surface. Okay, superior surface. And at the opposite of superior surface, we have inferior surface. We will discuss in other diagram because we don't. Uh, it's not visible from here. Okay, so we have lateral end. Now in lateral end, we have two surfaces, upper and lower, with two border. Here we have border. This is interior border, and interior border. Concave forward, posterior border convex backward, then medial interior surface also convex forward. You can see here is a convex forward, and posterior surface concave backward. You can see here. Now superior surface is subcutaneous to throughout and it is smooth and inferior surface which is lie at the big which is lie at the opposite aspect of the clavicle it is rough will be discussed later about it. but this is side determination now it's very easy to determine uh, which side is the medial two third and which side is the lateral one third and different border and surfaces so based on that uh, in viva exam you can easily recognize its uh, each part and uh, identify its position so now we'll discuss about muscle attachment muscle attachment here and so the next task, task is muscle attachment. So the first muscle that attach to the clavicle is the and attached to the anterior surface. It is clavicular. part of pectoralis muscle 
okay this is clinical clinicular part of the pectoralis muscle from superior surface here originate sternal head of sternal head of sterno clitomastoid mastoid muscle okay this is originate from the superior surface now let's come to the lateral one third from the interior border originate deltoid interior interior fiber of deltoid originates from the interior border lateral one third okay and from posterior border and sub part of the uh, superior surface insert trapezius trapezius muscle deltoid muscle okay so these are muscle that attach and visible and this specimen okay, in this diagram we'll be discussing some more structure but another diagram we need another diagram for, for explanation because it's not visible uh, it it present at the uh, inferior uh, aspect of this bone so let's come to this diagram here we'll discuss ligament attachment so the, the ligament attachment because we have two joints here this is a chromial end of the clavicle and this is uh, this is sorry this is sternal end of the clavicle uh, it articulated with the monogram sternum to form sternoclavicular joint okay so to stabilize this joint after capsule we have some ligament attachment over here so one bend of ligament which is attached from the intrasuperior aspect of clavicle to to intrasuperior aspect of the munibrum sterni this is called anterior sternoclavicular sternoclavicular ligament so here this is interior sternoclavicular ligament and we have the same ligament but it lie at the posterior aspect okay this is posterior sterno clavicular ligament the posterior anterior and posterior sterno clavicular ligament and the third ligament that connect the two clavicle together okay it's run from one clavicle and attach to the other side clavicle and bridges over the um, sternal notch okay so it pass over the monibrum sterni and attach to the other side clavicle and this is called enter clavicular ligament this is called interclavicular ligament on other side we have superior and inferior acromioclavicular ligament 
after capsule they stabilize the joint superior and inferior Acromio Cleocular ligament. So one is present on the superior aspect and one on the inferior at the opposite side at the inferior side. So they are called superior inferior acromioclipicular ligament so these are these are ligament which are fit over here so we have some other structure also that connect to the inferior surface and we already mentioned about that that this surface is rough okay so you can see we have many structure that give attachment and uh, that uh, got attached to the, this the, this this surface so let's start from the this divided again to the lateral third and medial two third and start from the sternal end. So here we have a rough area and this area give attachment to the costo clavicular ligament and why they then so because it attach clavicle uh, cartilage to the superior surface of first rib and cartilage and of course to clavicular ligament then we have a groove here This is subclavian groove. So, clavian groove. It loaches subclavian vessel. Vessels. Okay. Artery plus vein. And beside artery plus vein, we have insertion point here. This is the insertion of subclavius muscle. Subclavius muscle insert over here. Okay, now come to the literal one third. In lateral one third, we have a tubercle here. This is conoid tubercle. Conoid tubercle. And from conoid tubercle, a line that move forward and laterally here. This is trapezoid. Trapezoid line and conoid tubercle give attachment to conoid ligament, which is lie medially, and trapezoid line give attachment to the trapezoid ligament, and both these ligament is called coraco coraco clavicular ligament coraco clavicular ligament then here at the medial end posterior surface near the medial end from here originate and let me write in a red color originate here from this area
sterno hajuit muscle sterno hajuit muscle originate from yes and this is interior border we have here deltoid tubercle because this area is the origin of deltoid muscle now next we have ossification of clinical so how it's ossified and uh, in the early discussion we have discussed a little bit it uh, start ossification from two prime center then switch up to cartilage okay so here we will discuss in some more detail okay so here less side of appearance okay notification center and then fusion age fusion age fusion age and when it's appear okay so here also appearance age appearance age and fusion age okay so here two primary membranes ossification center appear and when it appear at the age of fifth to sixth week okay and when this fuse after 45 day intra uterine life intra uterine life okay so this fuses then secondary Ossification center appear at the sternal end. At the sternal end. And when it appear at the age of nineteen to twenty. Okay, so it appear and it fuses at the age of 25 25 years fuses at the age of 25 years then secondary ossification center Occasionally, occasional appear at the acromial, acromial end also at the age of 20 years and it fuses soon. So they didn't mention their age because it's appear and fuses soon very quickly. Then the next task to discuss is it's clinically not which is very very important in correlation with the gross anatomy. If you know the gross anatomy of clinical, so it's very easy to correlate with that. 
Uh, now you can see this is clavicle, but this is fracture clavicle, and you can see this is broken here of the clavicle, which is broken from the lateral side here. This is lateral side of clavicle. So commonly it fracture at the junction of lateral one third and medial two third. Is in you can see in this uh, X-ray or radiograph. Okay, and when it's fracture, the medial part it tend to move upward in upward direction. It is due to the pull of the uh, sternal head of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. It is due to the sternal head of sternal gluteomastoid muscle. It pulled this part up. Then the lateral side pulled down due to interior fiber of deltoid muscle because it, 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 it attaches over here. deltoid muscle okay so it tend to pull down and we have another example here you can see this lateral side move down and medial are due to the mentioned muscle force so it is the end and thank you for